So I'm going to do another makeup tutorial, and this one is going to be even better, okay? So you're going to start with your foundation. Just, just take as much as you want. So like this, that's a pretty good amount. And then you're just going to put that on your face. Like this. Yep, that's that's how the professionals do it. So then after you have your foundation, make sure you rub it in all over so that it's blended nicely. Yep. Okay. And then you're just gonna take the remaining foundation and just rub it on your neck because you don't want that type of line. No, okay, so then you have all these stuff. So you have a makeup remover. You're just going to use that on your hands to get the excess off. And then you're going to use your concealer if you have any other dark circles or other problem areas. Just dab it in there. No one will notice. At all. Okay. So then just dab it on there. Make sure you work it in. Yeah, so that it's nicely blended. Nicely blended, okay. And then we're just gonna skip powder. You don't need powder. I mean, you really don't. So then next we're gonna work on our eyes. And we're gonna go for a nice date look. So we're going to take our palette here and we're going to look at the black section. Black right here, yes. And we're just going to use our fingers for this and we're going to get the nice dark black shade here and just apply that to our lids because that's is, yep. That's how the pros do it. Oop, I have a message. But I am busy filming this for you guys. Mm hmm Okay. So after you get your desired thickness, go ahead and do the other eye. Alright, that's good. They don't have to be even. Uh, nope, okay. So then after you get the base layer of eyeshadow, you're going to want to go and add some different colors. So I'm going to go with this uh, purple look right here and just apply that anywhere on your eyelid. Because you know what? You can. So just apply that wherever. And if it overpowers your black, that's okay. Then I'm going to take this nice bright blue color, put that in their eyelids too, okay, and just place that wherever you want. So that's how my eyelids look. And then just going to take the green sections and take this nice green here and place that just around the corners inside. Just gonna place where is my hair? Just gonna apply that to your both inner and outer eyelid. Yep, okay. So then when you're pleased with your colors, you're gonna go ahead and move on to your eyeliner. <clears throat> so I like to use this liquid liner in blue and I'm gonna just line my line my eyes and if you slip that's okay too you can just fix that later yeah so just line your eyes nice and good and make sure you go all the way up to the right inner corner of your eye that makes it look smaller 
So if you have big eyes, that's going to be wanted for this look. And make sure you get that wing. We want that wing for your eyeliner. So make sure you get a wing. Any wing is good. So if it's big, the bigger the better. So any wing. And then just repeat on the other side. Yeah, and if they're off, that's okay too. So then, I'm going to go ahead and line where I missed with this color in like turquoise. And just going to line right up next to it. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Yep. There. So you see the lines? Okay, we're not going to do anything on our lid. Actually, we're going to go ahead and use our black liquid liner on our lid. And just line your lid. And don't forget that even if it's a little off, it's okay. Oh. oh no, my camera. Okay. Okay, well, anyways. Then, make sure you line all the way of your lid. Okay. Yep. So then we're going to do the other eye. And just make sure the line's connected. That's all that really matters. So then, once you have your liner done, <clears throat> we're going to move ahead to the next step, which is your eyebrows. And we're going to use this nice dark black color. And uh, we're just going to make our lash, our eye eyebrows, just going to fill them in. We want to make the arch a little higher than it actually is, because my eyebrows, you see... They're not really that full, so we want to make them a little thicker, and they're kind of flat, so we want to make that arch a little bigger. So, once you have your eyebrows, and you can do this to whatever length you want, I like to go personally all the way to my uh, hairline there, and then don't forget on the other side. And it's okay if they're uneven. Natural brows are very uneven. So then, after you have your eyebrows done, oh, we forgot our mascara. So we're going to want to go ahead and put mascara on our eyelids. And it's okay if you get it, like, down here. Actually, let's add it. Let's do this for a little bit of definition on our cheekbones. Okay, so then after you've defined this and you've got your mascara all over your eyes, then you can go ahead and you're done with this over half. We're going to go ahead and do our blush. And we're going to use this color of blush. And we're going to just blush. Just put blush wherever on your cheek you want. And make sure you get a nice dark color. Okay. So then after you've gotten your blush on, you're going to want to go ahead with your bronzer then right away. And just bronze your face because you mean you're not tan enough. So just make sure. And any of your excess blush you can just put wherever on your face. And make sure your hair does not get in your workspace. That's a big tip. So then we're going to go ahead and do our lips. See, I like to be very adventurous. So I'm going to use this green concealer as lipstick. Because I'm very adventurous. And I like to be different. 
So after you've gotten your green lipstick on, then go ahead and put your other color of lipstick. You're going to make a two-tone lipstick on your face. And go right ahead and just, it's okay if you miss your lips a little bit. Just make sure you line your lips. It's best to use a pencil liner, but if you don't have one, that's okay. Just use your lipstick. Just make sure you're really careful. And then if you want to be even fancier, you can use another lip color to go on the edges of your lips. Here, like this, just on your bottom lip, make sure you don't go higher. So then after you have that done, you're going to want to go through and highlight any high points on your face. So that would be like your cheekbones. And we forgot to powder, but I don't, I don't think we need, we don't need powder, right? So then your nose, the bridge of your nose here, and then you're just going to want to rub that in. Rub it in, okay. And uh, I think we're done. Good luck.